Boy oh boy, let's do this. First thing first, the name is the LUI. Secondly, the game is the game of bodybuilding. Thirdly, thirdly, the subject, Marco Savolite, an extremely underrated, arguably the best biceps in the history of, of bodybuilding. They were literally boulders, a huge mammoth testes, baby, please. Look at that off season. Look at him here in this competition. I'll show you the property of those. Look at that. Front double testes, baby, please. That's great. Did you even know about this guy? Extremely underrated. Extremely underrated. In his era, he was absolutely a material for top six Mr. Olympia. But he never was there because of policies. I mean, baby, please. Rear double bicep. Look at the back. Dude, it was complete. It's not only bicep seats, bro. The back was so loyal, it was Dorian-esque. Look at that. d re me bro. Look at the last spread. Everything. Hammies, glutes. Look at that Christmas trees. Wow. Wow. If you want to know about politics, go back to Marco Savoline in this Finnish guy was absolutely Viking material. He was so loyal. It was absolutely amazing. Look at the horseshoe right there. Abdominal and thigh. Proper Lee displayed and executed. Look at that. That's what's up. Thank you, Marco Slavolani. Look at the biceps again and still. They were literally boulders, outrageously developed. From the front, bro, I mean, hard, hard, hard to beat. You can only compare him to one guy. I'm going to show you that guy later. In the meantime, look at him. He was training with Ernie Taylor from Great Britain. Ernie Taylor was known to have a huge tricep development. So it's kind of a contrast, bicep versus triceps. Thing is, E.T., his gains were absolutely oil. Some say this was sinful, bro. Just saying. That's what's up, bro. You can see a front lat spread versus a guy named Sherman. And again, a back double biceps between Jurassic Paul and Ronnie Coleman. Same guys, front double biceps, he's baby, please. Vince Taylor and Lee Priest. Yeah, Lee Priest was another blonde guy with bolder biceps, he's baby, please. Another blonde guy from Germany, they, Lee, was Marcus Rude. Papa! Marcus Rude, bro, was outrageous. He didn't care. It's all about growth as big as possible. No apologies, baby, please. Front double biceps. I love, I love this guy. Let's take a look at this clip right here. Look, this was guest posing. Look at the outrageousness of Rule. He really was, he really was the freak of his era. This is the proper definition of a freak. And also Marcus Rule was extremely, exceedingly, look at the bicep, look at that dearie me. Exceedingly underrated. Anyway, Look at the back. I mean, back then, they were saying the back makes you or breaks you. Look at the back of Marcus Rule. It was just proper. Marcus Rule deserved to be top three Mr. Olympia. But unfortunately, policies, baby, please. And that's what time it is. Anyway, that's slow. Oh, look at that. That was the, the, the freak era. No apologies, baby, please. Wow. Wow, look at the saturation right there, brother. Wow. Again, it's all about the bicep. Clearly overdeveloped, overgrown, even compared to the tricep sweep. But it doesn't matter. He was balls to the walls. The maximum he can get. His chest was outrageous. Everything was overgrown about Marcus Rule. A proper salute upon him by the LUI, brother. And in the bicep department, he was absolutely compared to Marco Savolainen. We can see a clip here, Marco Savolainen versus Ronnie Coleman and Jurassic Paul. Look, look at that. They don't dwarf him. They do not dwarf him. Front lat spread. I mean, forget about Jurassic Paul, his outclassed here. It's between him and Ronnie Coleman. Now granted, Rooney was not at his best, but still. Rear double bicep. 
This is the take home pose. The back. Back double bicep C's, a baby, please. Look at that. Again, for forget about Jurassic Paul. He's not there. I have Marco ahead of Rooney here. I have Marco ahead of Rooney there. More solid, more dense. Let's spread. Look at the Christmas trees, baby, please. Look, just complete. Again, Rooney was not at his best, but it is where it is. Over here, I have Marco in front of Rooney. By a mile, actually. By a mile. Tricep C's, baby, please. Look at that, brother. He was good. Highly underrated. Of course, he's being compared right now because he is in Europe. If it was in Olympia, policies, maybe please. Obviously, proper six pack. Can I please? That's another clip right there, guys. Crucif expose. And when he flexes them, those are literally uh, boulders. And again, these guys are loyal. They're not uh, oil. His only weakness, in my reckoning, is, is the chest. It's a little bit flat. It shows on the side poses. Baby, please look at that. Wow, this is the art of pose. Oh, boy. That's a boulder right there. Looks literally Photoshop in real life. Again, the chest is a little bit flat. Definitely a weakness in his case. The only weakness I see. Back is loyal, even by today's uh, standards. And it is a shame that a lot of you guys did not even listen about this guy. Never heard about him. He was just proper. Look at the hamstrings by back then standards. Remember, we were coming off the Dorian Yates era. Nobody was peeled this way in the glutes department, but this guy was already there. And his arms were just outrageous again. Proper Christmas tree, proper everything. Unfortunately, as far as I know, he had some... Uh, issues with his uh, probably kidneys if I'm not mistaken which hindered his career but aside from that this guy was coming very very strong to rock the Mr. Olympia unfortunately we've never uh, seen him there right now he has a channel actually on, on YouTube he talks about his life and training and so on right but uh, it goes to show that politics uh, were available since ever, guys. So a proper salute to Marco uh, Savoline. And tell me if you guys heard about him. Don't forget to like the video. And tell me if you agree that his biceps are arguably one of the most outrageous ever. Proper salute by the NUI, brother.